Today we'll look at how you can create your own chatbot just like ChatGPT using Python and OpenAI API. So I'm in my VS Code. I'll open the folder where I want to write my code. I'll go to File, Open Folder. So I created this folder, Open API, and I'll select this folder. In this folder, I'll create a file, um, chatbot.py. And here I will write my Python code. First thing we need to do is to install OpenAI module. So I'll go to view, click on terminal, and I'll install OpenAI library. So pip install OpenAI. This will take some time to download and install the packages. So open AI library successfully installed as you can see version 1.60.2 and now I will import this library in my code. Let me collapse the site panel. I'll write from open AI import open AI. And after that, I create a client client equals to open AI. And here I'll need to provide the API key. So in order to provide the API key, we need to create it first. So I'll go to Chrome. I'll search for open AI API. The first link which says platform.openai.com, you need to click on that. After click on this gear icon settings. On the left panel, you will see API keys here. From here, create a new secret key. I'll call the secret key as um, Python chatbot. I'll create the secret key and I'll copy the secret key. After it is copied, I'll paste it in my VS code. So, so you can see it is pasted now. Ensure it is in double quotes. After I pasted my API key, I'll create a variable prompt and assign it with empty string. The idea is to provide the string input from the terminal. So it will be like a chatbot. Then I'll create a loop while true. And here I'll take the prompt input from the terminal input and I'll provide a placeholder you. So it will behave just like a human interacting with a chatbot. After that, I'll create a chat completion object which will be made from our client dot chat dot completions create so it will have a parameter messages messages will be a list which contains two key value pair so first is role i'll say it user and then content will be prompt. After we have defined our message with the role user as I'm my user and the content which will be prompt, which I'll be taking from the terminal, I need to provide the model I'm using. So the model I will be using is you can use any model. Um, I'll use GPT. 3.5 turbo, but you can use any model. The cheapest one is GPT 40 mini. If you want to have a look at all the models, you could just go to the Chrome and um, go to open AI API pricing. And um, you will see all the models here. So what you need to do is that you just need to, for example, if you want GPT 40 mini, you just copy that and uh, paste it here. 
that's it so you can use any model according to your uh, use um gpt 40 mini is the cheapest one um but 3.5 turbo 40 everything is good uh after that i'll print the response so print the response so response message message equals to chat completion dot choices zero the first element message content so it will take the message content from the response and you just need to print the response so i'll just write ai as a placeholder and i'll just give response i'll just print out the response message now it is done that's all code you need just 21 lines of code and i'll just run this code and if you're finding this video helpful please subscribe to this channel we'll see the output so it's asking for you so you need to provide some input let's say i'll just say hello so yeah i say hello how can i assist you i say tell me a joke so it's it really says a good joke and if i ask a general knowledge question for example what is the highest building in the world So yeah, 2023 tallest building in the world is Burj Khalifa. So yeah, it is working fine. So this is how you can implement just by 21 lines of code, a chatbot, which can take user input and can provide output as a AI response. If you have any questions, any doubts, please write it down in the comments and please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.